Yeah, you guys, you're probably asking yourself, why am I throwing this can of Sprite around? I don't know. I'm just bored. Pretty bored. Oh, I feel like doing a rant. Gonna need some juice first. That's perfect. What's up, you guys? NGS here for another video. I know this is gonna be a kind of random rant. I was just talking about this with my friends, you know, just... Just something random off my head. I'm, I'm bored making a video, you know, because I don't want to have to do one of my more in-depth rants on iCarly or Pokemon because that'll take me a while because i got to write the script. i got to add some funny stuff like comedy stuff, you know, stuff like, you know, moments from the show that sound just got awfully retarded. So I feel like ranting today on Storm 2 because I really haven't talked a lot about Storm 2. I know you're saying, oh, Storm 2 being multi-platform. It should have been a PS3 exclusive. I know a lot of you guys have had to deal with these PS3 fanboys and, um, <clears throat> going back and forth saying that. Saying that, oh, we d we deserve to have Naruto Storm 2 on the PS3. It's our right. I Believe me, I've seen comments like that. The Xbox fanboys have said that Storm is the gayest game, but when it comes to their console, they love it. Um... I have never seen an Xbox fanboy say that. Say that Storm is shit and Broken Bonds is superior. Actually, it's the opposite. They even say Storm is better. They lack on Bonds because Bonds' graphics are not good. Oh my god. The graphics in Broken Bond, they're, they're fine. I, I don't give a sh two shits about graphics nowadays because I play script split screen all the time. And you know what split screen does, does to the resolution of the game. So I can give two shits about graphics. So that's why when Storm came out, I wasn't overhyping it. You know, it's like, eh, pretty. Yeah. There you go, at the end of the day, it's a pretty game. Well, what else is it? You know, it's, um, lack of replay value, uh, no online, short character roster, fucked up story, no trophies. Hey, I think it's still the best Naruto game, huh? You know? Not better than any other of the Naruto games, but this isn't about Storm 2, like, Storm 1 lashing, you know? That's a separate video all on its own. But let's talk about the whole Storm 2 PS3 fanboy thing, which I might get hate from the console war. So, the whole story is basically that PS3 fanboys are saying that Storm 2 should have been a PS3 exclusive because they would have done all this awesome shit on it, given us a character roster of Axel 3. Is that a naked man? Okay, but um, yeah, it's not flattering either. It's freaking this old guy. Shit, it's an old guy naked outside. What the fuck? What's going on in this world? That they would have added a B character roster, they would have given us four player co op, they would have made the Hidden Leaf Village fully interactable like the first game. You could have gone to the Sand Village, the Akatsuki's Hideout, oh my god, all this awesome, you know, Naruto fanboy jizz stuff, you know, stuff that would make them come in their pants, you know. But um, at, at the end of the day, you guys, here's my question maybe they couldn't make it as a PS3 exclusive. Now, you, got, you guys are saying, well, would they be the first game like that? Well, the, the whole thing surrounding CyberConnect 2 is, this is their first multi-platform game. They've always been usually a Sony company, from what I remember, remember, remember correctly. They've always been a Sony company. So now that they're coming to Xbox, they have to work on the 360 version as well. What if I told you that CyberConnect 2 wouldn't make Storm 2 unless it was multi-platform? Unless it garnered more sales from the Xbox 360 version? What if they wouldn't make Storm 2 unless they knew it would sell multi-platform. You see, here's the thing with companies nowadays. Companies, especially now in this generation with this economy, most do not want to go exclusive because when they go exclusive, they get less money than they would going multi-platform. Sure, they can have like all the tools on the PS3 with Blu-ray and yeah, you know, all happy stuff, but it doesn't help when a lot of the PS3 gamers don't buy games. I mean, you guys know this for a fact. I mean, and don't say that argument, oh, it's because Halo and Gears War are big franchises, that's why they sell more. But <clears throat> about Storm 2, with the multi-platform, why does it really matter at the end of the day? The game is coming out. What if they never released it unless it would be on the Xbox 360 as well? It doesn't make sense. I mean, first off, this isn't like, like a big Sony franchise such as Uncharted or Killzone going multi-platform. Then people can bitch. It's a Naruto game. Okay, at the end of the day, it's going to be a Naruto game. More than often, all these Naruto games are something you throw in your pile, like, after five minutes. So, do I have one example? Okay, okay, I have one. Revolution 2. All these fanboys are saying, Oh, this game is the best game in the world. Oh my god, we got Abu characters. And hey, what happens after five minutes? Oh, there, is that crap? Yeah, that is crap. Most of these Naruto games are just games you throw in the pile. 
I mean, it, it, yeah, you can play it for five minutes and then, boo, you get over it. With Storm 2, it does look like it's going to be a game that'll keep us occupied for more than five minutes. Five minutes being an exaggeration, fine, I'll give it five days. But it looks like CyberConnect 2 Namco Bandai, they want to make this game compete with other people. So when they say, hey, what game are you picking up this Christmas? Oh, I'm picking up Dead Rising 2, um, Fallout New Vegas, Call of Duty Black Ops, Storm 2. I mean, they want it to seem like people won't get, like, outcasted for picking up that game. Like, oh, he's picking up a Naruto. Yeah, all those games are recycled. So the fact that it's going multi-platform doesn't really concern me as long as the game comes out in the end. You know? I mean, it, it doesn't matter that it's on the 360 because they pulled off the same quality as it was on the PS3. Same thing. And like I said, it's not like Storm 1 was one of the top hitters for Sony. I mean, Storm was just another PS3 exclusive. It didn't even use the full powers of the PS3. I mean, the reason why, like, so many fanboys thought it was meant for PS3 was because of the graphics. Well, they proved that they can pull those same type of graphics off with the Xbox 360. If you guys, you honestly think that it optimized the full power of the PS3 as Uncharted or Killzone did? <laughs> no. For obvious reasons, I could tell from the minute I first loaded up the game, hey, there's a five minute low screen. How come, how come Uncharted 2 doesn't have that? Reason why, like I said, is because they didn't know the 360. Now they know the 360, that's why they're making it multi-platform. I will bet you that if they knew the 360 back in 2008, they would have made it multi-platform. Oh, come on, guys. Does the fact that a Naruto game being multi-platform where the company wants to make more money and they can pull off the same quality really affect you guys so badly? I mean, what are you guys going to say when the next shiny Naruto game comes out? Ooh, I wonder what. Ooh. Oh my god, what, what, what was that game? Oh, Storm 2? I don't remember Storm 2. Oh, I think that's what's going to happen. Of course, the fanboys like to nitpick. They're like, oh, the facial animations of Naruto, they're not like as in-depth and beautiful as Storm 1's Naruto. Now, if you have time to nitpick the facial animation of Naruto in a video game, then I think you have way too much time in your hands, and I downright think that's creepy. And it doesn't matter at the end of the day, I mean, all they're bitching about is graphics. Like, oh, this doesn't look as good as Storm 1! Who gives a fuck at the end of the day? Graphics do not make a game. Sure, they play in a part in it, but what are games about? Game play. They're not about graphics, they're not about cutscenes, they're not about how many jutsus you can do. When it comes to the end of the day, gameplay makes a game. Not how many jutsus you have, not how many characters you have. Gameplay makes the game. Those add into the final outcome of the game, but if you have crappy ass gameplay, no one's gonna buy the game. Oh man, that's, that's really taking it off my toll. So, and at the end of the day, people complain about graphics not being the same. Hey, look at it, it's the same thing, all right? And would you rather, like, the game, like I said, not come out at all? If they couldn't, if they needed it to be get more sales onto the 360? I mean, just look at it from that point of view. I mean, they want it to get more sales, so they're going to go multi-platform. I mean, they don't see it as a big problem. It's not like they owe you guys jack. I mean, come on. It doesn't matter, okay? It's just an Arthur game at the end of the day. It's a video game at the end of the day. Do you think that people were bitching when Dead Rising 2 was announced to come out on PS3? No. Do you think that people were bitching when Resident Evil 5 came out on 360? No. Why? Because the games are more or less the same. <sighs> well, people probably were bitching about Resident Evil, but... Um, people Resident Evil was never exclusive to one console same thing with Metal Gear Metal Gear was originally on Nintendo then he switched over to PlayStation and Metal Gear Solid 2 I don't think that game was exclusive and now Rising's coming out on the 360 which I don't care Rising looks badass so yeah uh, that's all I got to say about the people ranting on Storm 2 being multi-platform. It's a game at the end of the day. If you don't like that the graphics aren't going to be as good as the Storm 1, then don't get the game because you don't deserve it if you're going to keep saying that. I mean, it's a game at the end of the day that people who never owned a PS3 can enjoy. All right? That's all I got to say on all the people ranting on Storm 2. Rant if they want. I'm just giving my own two cents. I don't have two cents right now. Two cents on the matter. So, hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was just a pretty random, off-topic, naked man outside video. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Watch out for my vlog tomorrow while I will go in-depth with all the Naruto info that has come out. Catch you guys later.